Welcome back. With us right now from Sterling Financial Advisors is Dan Allweiler. And uh, we got a subject here that I think is a really good one. I good to have in you here. And I felt like I was on the Ellen show. I know. I know. <laughs> we're we're going to get up and start dancing in a minute, right? <laughs> New set. Yeah. Yeah, that's nice. Very nice. A little yeah. bit more casual. And yes, it is. That's great. That's great. Yeah. And we've got your bow tie on for the, yes, for the holiday. I do. You know, I can only wear this. Well, actually, I could wear it around Memorial Day yeah, and Labor sure. Day and all. So. Sure, absolutely. You but there's get, only a few finite days that I can wear I was going to say, it. you ought to take advantage of those days. Yes, exactly. <laughs> well, we're talking about something that affects everyone in one form or another and it's the subject is what you should know before that's the key word collecting Social Security right and well you might so you might have a lot of uh, uh, people here in the community that have already claimed Social Security right. so it may not even apply to them but I'm sure there's others that are yes, that perhaps is. that are working yeah. that haven't decided to do that that the some things that you just ought to be aware of uh, before claiming Social Security exactly and one of the biggest issues is knowing your full retirement age, and here's the here's the reason. Depending when you were born, it has shifted a bit. It started out originally when when uh, President Roosevelt yeah. brought it into uh, into the our society back in the right after the depression. You know, the depression is what caused yeah, exactly. Social Security to come into play because they wanted to maybe give people a basis of mm -hmm. some type of retirement income. Right, so exactly. So when it started out, uh, government actuaries actually used age 65 for a life expectancy. That was yeah. back in the 30s, okay? Well, at 65, we're just getting started. Exactly, you know. So yeah. I mean, there's a reason Social Security is having problems today, you know, but uh, but as we've as our life expectancy has grown, they've had to move that what they call full retirement age up. Mm -hmm. Okay, so baby boomers, it's 66 now. Yeah. Okay, and if you were born after 1955, it's now 67. Yeah, exactly. And I'm assuming that there'll be some changes along the way to where you're either going to have to work longer or. Oh, I'm some, sure. I'm sure my the... daughters are going to be like right. 70 and older. And they know? probably don't even care right no, now. No, they don't. <laughs> and you know, just a, a quick little side topic that's, that's one of the things that, in general, as I would say, up to maybe about age 40 or you start having kids and people are having kids later in life you don't think about why should I worry about putting money away and why I mean it's just it's natural. It's I had everything. a gentleman in yesterday uh, of course he's he's a little bit older but he says I hadn't thought about <coughs> retirement at all and then I had had a heart attack yeah <laughs> you know and he says all of a sudden things came into perspective right and, right and we've got to do some planning and exactly. so you know things take a much different priority once that happens you yeah know? and so they just you know he was going to work till 75 and now he's you know I want to retire and be with my wife and you know yeah exactly so this full retirement age kind of dictates how much Social Security you're going to get you can mm -hmm. take it early at age 62 yes you can okay but if you take it early at age 62 then you're going to be discounted about 40 percent or so mm -hmm. from the time that uh, you start taking it yeah All exactly right. and that's uh, you know that's something that people need to uh, kind of balance out. Uh, other, some there might be folks out there who might say, you know what, I don't need the money, but maybe I start taking it at 62 and I put it away somehow. I invest. It, I have I people do taking it at 62 because they don't think Social Security is going to be around. Yeah, exactly. I might as well get it while I can get it. Yeah. You know, I had a couple in yesterday I was planning for. They're a little bit. Uh, younger, they are, I, I think, in their late 50s, and they said, I don't think, that, you know, we were doing a, a plan for them, setting up a projection mm -hmm. for their income and everything, and they said, don't even count on Social Security, because I'm not even sure it's going to be around. Well, that may or may not be true, right. so I ran it both ways, showing them what it would yeah. be if they did, but, but it's starting at age 62. We have, sometimes we make recommendations to clients to mm -hmm. take it at age 62, because their, their cash flow right. needs it. That's true. And... Uh, you, we've done calculations that if you start at age 62 and you get Social Security for four years prior to taking right. it at 66, it takes about 12 to 13 years to break even. Okay. Okay, so if you start at age 62 rather than 66, it takes about 12 years to break even. And yeah, then exactly. From then on out, you would have been better off waiting. But, you know, if your financial situation is such that you need the money, I, uh, mm -hmm. There's no reason not to take it. And one thing to consider as well 
is that if you start to take it early, you got to consider are you working full time? Sure. And that's going to bump you over that level where if you wait till you're 65, 66, if you're still whatever it is, If you're still it, working it at 62, generally I don't <coughs> recommend doing that because yeah. they're going to have Social Security offset. Yeah, exactly. You can wait till 66 at full age and you can still work at that time yeah. you know, without having a problem. But if you're going to be working at age 62, generally it's not going to make sense to do that because there's going to be Social Security offset. Right, exactly. So, And of course, you can, if you're able to do it or you want to keep working or, or you don't need the money right away, you can wait till you're, what is it, 71, 70, 70. Half, something like that? Yeah, I had to laugh the other day. I had a couple in and, and uh, he was 67. They had suf plenty of assets mm -hmm. to work from, okay, to, to provide for their retirement. And the wife wasn't letting him retire because she wanted that age 70 Social Security. Right. So he had to work another two or three years just so he could get the maximum Social Security. Mm -hmm. So if something happens to him, right. she has that amount to, to rely yeah, exactly. on. exactly. Now, if you want to go ahead and retire, let's say he goes, ah, I'm going to retire. I'm just not going to take my money until I'm 70. He can, you do, can that. do that. too. Absolutely. And if he's worked that... I forget how many years it is or quarters. It's or 40 quarters. Okay, 40 quarters. Right. Um, yeah, it's about 10 hard. years. Yeah. you got to work 10 years yeah. to have some benefit. Now, here's a good one that's on here. There are no do-overs. You can't <laughs> start taking and... Uh, well, they used to be able to do you, that. Yes, you did. Exactly. They, they made some changes here a while back. They're always trying to plug holes in Social Security uh, to, to make sure that it lasts as long as it can. Mm -hmm. It used to be you could file and and then defer right. so, your, yeah. so your spouse could get benefits. Mm -hmm. They don't allow that anymore, so they changed right. that rule. Uh, it used to be that you could take Social Security at age 62, mm -hmm. okay? And then at age 70, if you were still living, you could pay back all that money and get the higher benefit. Ah, interesting. So, so it was kind of a way for people to say, well, let's see what's gonna happen. Mm -hmm. Okay, if nothing happens, we can just put all that money in the bank and then just pay it back, we'll get a higher benefit. Yeah, interesting. They don't allow that anymore. No. And so they're, they're, there's no do-over, so to speak. You yeah, can't exactly. really say, hey, I'm gonna take it at age 66. Nothing happens between 66 and 70, I'll pay you back all that money, now I want the higher benefit. Yeah, you know, exactly. So. I know there's a, a somewhat of a stipulation that I may be able to take advantage of, although it changes, it has changes with my daughter. When I reach that age, I can take it for a couple of years till she reaches whatever it is. Right, you're right. If, but, if if you're but that even changed. As yeah, you know. if you're uh, if you're on Social Security and you've got a minor daughter yeah. or, or child under age 18, they're entitled to some Social Security benefit yeah, at that time. Exactly that, for underage dependent. But in general, there are no do-overs. There's no yeah. there's no do-overs. And of course, um, as we find out from our friend Jeffrey uh, Rodriguez. Mm -hmm. It's ever changing. I mean, sure. uh, we know what it is for this year. I met with, uh, the couple That's that I met it. with yesterday. They, they think that there'll be some changes. You know, they're talking about doing needs-based Social Security. Yeah. If you're making too much money or you're making over a hundred thousand exactly. dollars, you're not going to get the benefit or whatever it is. Okay. Don't know if that'll ever come into play. It's going to be a little bit dicey if people have paid into the system for exactly. thirty or forty years and now all of a sudden they say you're not, you don't get it. Yeah. You know that's. That's ripe for getting voted out of office. Yeah, you know exactly. they can they can change the rules for your daughter because she doesn't really care right, right now exactly. at this stage in her life. She doesn't care. They change the rules for you and I. That's a whole different issue. Yeah, and you've got you've got the voters that are going to be coming down on you. So exactly. Thanks for coming on. Hey, I'm I happy, appreciate it. Happy and to be here. And on the screen, uh, we have a book that you can pick up from Dan called Our Story. Yeah, there's actually and, a... Uh, his phone number and website. There's actually a little uh, retire retirement quiz in here. Yes, there that, is. That they could take, okay? And it just gives you kind of a little of a, an update as to your situation in retirement, whether or not you might need some help. And we'd be happy Definitely. to sit down on that complimentary basis and sit down with people that, that kind of have questions about their current status. Very good, thing. and I can tell you he's a good guy, as is <laughs> everyone that works for him. A lot Just of took a group to the Angels him. game not too long yes. ago. So Yeah, you take care of your folks. Thank you very much. All right, good to see you again. Good hey, to you see have you. a good 4th of July. Hey, you, you sticking too? around? Yes, we are. Well, maybe out in Temecula. My okay. daughter's going to be in a parade with her grandma with oh, great. the DAR, so oh, we're great. going out there. Great. Yeah, so good for you. Be fun. All right. 
We're gonna just sit here and relax, maybe get up and start dancing during the commercial <laughs> break and we'll be right back. <laughs> you might.